Besides uh, several inches of rain, yesterday's storm brought rock slides and winds strong enough to knock over power lines and trees. Yeah, it was really wild out there, and the orders, well, they're lifted now, but some folks living near the burn scars in the Santa Cruz Mountains, they were forced to evacuate. And that's where we start our cleanup team coverage. Crown 4's Rob Flatabo is in the San Lorenzo Valley for us. Rob? That's right, Sanaz and Vicky. I'm here at the uh, Storm Refugee Center, if you will, at San Lorenzo Valley High School. It's closed now after those evacuation orders uh, were lifted early this morning. But I'll tell you what, uh, uh, no major problems reported, no major flooding of any kind. But you don't have to look far to see that this storm meant business. Let's take a look. Accompanied by high winds overnight, the surprisingly strong October storm brought down scores of trees across the Santa Cruz Mountains. It made for some treacherous driving at times, snarling mountain roads. People were driving beneath this trio of tall alder trees that fell along Lompico Road. They landed on power lines and damaged the house owned by Will Morse, just outside Felton. And I'm just sitting there, and all of a sudden I could hear the cracking and popping, and I kind of like braced myself, and then the whoosh. And I'm thinking, please don't destroy the house, you know. And Glen Canyon Road is also blocked and several homes cut off after a large eucalyptus tree came down here. Power lines fell across the road, making it all but impossible for Sue Schaefer to get her car out of the driveway. We had power lines down everywhere, so people were afraid to walk anywhere. At the height of the storm, PG&E said as many as 9,000 customers were impacted. As the heavy rain washed downstream into creeks and streams, approximately 3,000 residences in burn scar areas were under evacuation orders that were lifted early Monday after no debris flows were reported. Sheriff went around to about 320 homes that are at extremely high risk just because of the way they're positioned um, geologically you know, near rivers and slopes and things like that. But all in all, uh, we emerged relatively unscathed, and so we are pretty lucky for that. A few lingering showers added to upwards of seven inches that fell at the highest elevations overnight. Mountain residents are still dodging road closures while tree crews are busy and expect to stay that way for several days. And, you know, PG&E came out right at 8 o'clock and Davy Tree, and they re-pulled all the high power lines, and they're on it, so that's good news. Yeah, good news. No debris flows reported, but uh, maybe among the bad news, uh, despite the fact that some 3,000 uh, residences were under evacuation orders, uh, just three people showed up here at the evacuation center at the high school in Felton. Live in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Rob Flatabo, Cron 4 News.